combining index laws. If we've got questions like these where there's more than one index law involved, make sure you use BODMAS order of operations. Deal with any brackets first, any powers that you can evaluate, then multiplying and dividing using the index laws, unlikely to be adding and subtracting. Coefficients and constants, that is the big numbers, the whole numbers. Oops, sorry, brackets first. Coefficients and constants, remember to use proper multiplying and dividing with a calculator, often not the index laws. So down here, 3 times 2, you just do that as normal 3 times 2, we've got 6. And I'm going to put fractions there and tell you why I said that. Apply the index laws. So basically, order of operations, brackets first, then we'll have index laws like law 1 and 2, so for multiplying and dividing, power of powers, 0 index, and negative indices. And we'll revise negative indices next lesson. So to simplify this, I've got powers of powers, brackets first, I expand those. Remember power outside a bracket, we multiply. So I've got x to the 6 times x to the 15. Then I've got index law 1, multiplying powers of the same base. I add the powers, I've got x to the power of 21. This one, power of powers to start with. I've got m to the power of 3 times 4 is 12 over m to the power of 18. Then, being very careful with this, this is not m to the power 6. Because I'm left with more m's on the bottom, this will have to be 1 over m to the power 6. If you did it separately, if you did it 12 minus 18, because m12 divided by m18, you would subtract the powers, you would get m to the power negative 6. But we're better off using our negative power rules and writing 1 over m to the 6. Anytime you're simplifying a fraction and there's nothing left on top, there would be a 1. Check in with me if you just watched this and don't understand how we got to this, because that's important. This is the better answer. We don't normally want negative indices. We want to give answers with positive powers. This one, I've got whole numbers as well and brackets to expand. So on the top here, I can do all this top first because there's always imaginary brackets around the top and bottom of a fraction. So the fact that there's imaginary brackets here says I can do this whole thing at the same time as I expand these brackets because brackets first. So 3 times 2 is 6. M4 times M5 is M9. Be careful that you're moving between normal number multiplication, where I'm actually multiplying, and index multiplication, where I'm adding the powers. Careful. Don't forget powers of powers. Everything in the brackets is squared, and both of these have power 1. So that's 4 to the power of 1 times 2. 4 squared times m squared. And this, of course, is 16. And to make life easier, I'm going to go straight to 16 there. But I could do another thing of equals. Now, here where I said normal numbers and coefficients and constants, treat it as normal and do fractions. Use your fraction key. If you've got big numbers, coefficients, just use your fraction. Simplify it. It's much easier. 6 over 16 equals... oh. Excuse me. Three over eight. That simplified the whole number fraction part for you. Then m nine over m two. That's m seven left on the top because the majority of the m's are on the top. 
3m to the power 7 over 8. Sorry about my dodgy writing there. So that's combining index laws.